Hey guys, welcome back to the Chili Channel. I'm Pete, the Norfolk Chili Head, and this is review number 11. Uh, we're back to the hot sauces today, guys. Yay, I love my hot sauces, I do. Um, I've just had a big delivery from Hotheads. Um, I was looking at their website the other day and found a handful of sauces which just sounded so good, I just had to get them ASAP, and that's exactly what I did. Um, and I've been really looking forward to the one that I'm doing today. Um, it just sounds so, so gorgeous. This is... Tears of the Sun. Tears of the Sun hot sauce from High River Sources. Um, High River Sources, I've never heard of them before, maybe they're, they're a new company on the scene, but um, this so certainly sounds really good. Um, you've got that lovely sort of golden, yellow, amber, orangey label there, with that lovely sun design, weeping sun. <laughs> and uh, the sauce inside looks a lovely colour as well, it looks quite runny. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell it on the camera. It looks quite runny, but I can definitely tell that there's lots of chunks and seeds and all kinds of stuff floating around in there. So, quickly on with the ingredients. Uh, we have in this one, wait till you hear this, apple cider vinegar, pineapple, peaches, papaya, mango, orange habanero peppers, water, brown sugar, lime juice, ginger, salt, garlic and crushed red pepper. That sounds absolutely gorgeous. It sounds really fruity and I'm hoping that it's going to be really nice. I've been disappointed a couple of times with sauces that claim that they're going to be fruity um, because, you know, the, the fruit gets lost in all of the vinegar and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really hoping that the fruit comes through in this guy. Um, so what does it say about it? It says, Tears of the Sun is a deliciously dangerous blend of habanero peppers and tropical fruit. Your taste buds are greeted by the sweetness, then rising like the sun on a hot summer day, the heat settles in to make this unique sauce. Chicken, pork, fish, and even a bagel with cream cheese. If your food is crying for help, it's crying for some tears of the sun. So, um, as I said, this was from Hotheads, um, but you can also get it from High River Sources, which, again, uh, the website for that is highriversources.com, and they are based out of a place called Beers Village in New York. Beers Village sounds like a place I want to move to. Um, and if I don't know if you can tell on here, but the little logo there for High Sources, High River Sources rather, um, it's kind of like two old school Western style pistols. I'm not sure what kind they are, but they're obviously going for some kind of classic Western sort of vibe with their branding. Not sure about that, but hey, that's pretty cool, right? Um, Right, so I'm not expecting this one to be too hot. Um, it has got habaneros in it, but all of the, the fruit and the vinegar and everything is much further up the ingredients list for this. So I'm thinking it's more going to be about the flavour than the heat. But anyway, I'm just going to crack into this guy and give it a bit of a shake and see what we have going on. So I'm sticking by my rule of trying to use my hands rather than uh, scissors or anything for this, because... Uh, we can open them with our hands, can't we? Right, so you can see it does flow quite easily. Um, but you should be able to see there are lots of things going on in there. There's lots of stuff floating around. Seeds, flesh, pulp, all kinds of stuff. I've really been looking forward to this. I've been sat at work all day looking forward to coming home and trying this sauce. That's how sad I am. <laughs> but I do love my hot sauces. And... Uh, I'm hoping this one is going to be a beauty. I've got about eight to get through at the moment. I've got four left over from Christmas, which I haven't tried yet, and four that arrived the other day, like I said, which the ones which I ordered. So I've got lots of sort of reviews to bring you guys. Uh, right, that's enough shaking. Let's see what we've got. Mmm, it smells nice and fruity. With a back note of pepper as well. And not too much vinegar, actually. Not too much. So that's a good sign, in my opinion. I mean, I, I do quite like vinegar, but, you know, if you've got all of these lovely ingredients in here, you want those to take, you know, precedence over things like vinegar, don't you? So it's, it smells very sweet. Very fruity. Things like the, the peach and the, and the mango, I think, probably coming through quite a, quite a bit there. And it has got that background note of heat as well, so... Mmm, smells lovely. It's got a nice kind of a orangey colour to it, which is really nice as well. 
Right, I'm going to crack on, get some of this on the spoon. Ooh. Almost. <laughs> okay, I don't want to spill, so I'm just going down it very, very quickly. Here we go. Mm. Mm. That doesn't disappoint. That's really, really nice. Um, oh, yeah, very, very fruity. Um, yeah, the peaches and the mango is what really comes through for me. Um, yeah, actually, now, now I think about it, a bit of pineapple as well. You can sort of bring... You, you can notice those, those different fruits in there, you know, you, you can tell where, where each one of them is. Um, I'm not too sure about papaya, purely because I don't think I've ever had it before, and I don't really know what it tastes like, so I'm struggling to pick that one out a bit, you know, but all of the others, yeah, you can detect that they're all in there. There's a back note of vinegar, but it's certainly not overpowering at all. Flavour's great, um, and you do have that back note of heat. Um, it's not um, difficult to handle by any standards. It's um, it's not at the back of the throat at all. It's roof of the mouth, lips a little bit, front of the tongue a little bit. But that's it, and and it's just a, a nice warmth, a nice tingle, and um, oh, it's very very nice. And I'm going to have a bit more because this stuff is good. Just going to see if I can take, you know, sort of differentiate between those th those fruits a bit more. Um, like I say, they do come out quite well individually. But uh, I'm just going to see what else I can get out of this. Oh, that's a big chunk of something or other. Blimey. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Mm. This sauce is, is really well balanced. Um, you know how I said that vinegar can overpower certain sauces. Sometimes the heat just takes over everything. But for me, I like my sauces really balanced. I'm not the kind of guy who really goes for um, pure heat and then nothing else going on in, in the background. This is perfectly balanced. Um, like I say, you get the fruit straight away. There's no hanging about with that. It comes through the minute you you put it in your mouth. The vinegar is a back note, and the heat just makes it perfect. Really, um, it's absolutely fantastic. For, I mean, taste-wise, I'd give this a solid. As far as hot sauces go, eight point five, nine out of ten, roughly. You know, it's pretty damn good. Um, heat-wise. Don't know, uh, 3 out of 10, really? I mean, for someone who has a lot of chilli, then it's not going to be very hot. Um, for a novice or, a, you know, Joe Pub Joe Public or whatever you want to call it, um, they might have a bit more of a problem with it. But f for me, you know, it's perfectly fine. And it's very, very nice. You could go with so many things. You could have this with chicken, fish. Um, I think I read somewhere that it even goes nicely with vanilla ice cream. And having tasted it, I can actually see that. Um, I really do think it would. Obviously, you'd, your ice cream would have a bit of a kick for once. Um, but, yeah, I think it could even go with that, you know. Why not mix it up a bit? Why does it have to always be on savoury stuff? But definitely, with, with, with chicken and fish. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right. Well, thanks for watching. That was fantastic. That was Tears of the Sun. I think I'm going to go through this stuff like nobody's business. And then I'll be on to my next one. Like I said, I've got seven more to get through. Some of them are probably going to be quite mild like this one. Uh, others are going to be much hotter. Uh, but we'll get to those. <laughs> uh, and, uh, wow. 
definitely recommend this, as I say, from High River Sources or Hotheads. Fantastic. Okay, thanks again for watching guys. I just hit uh, 400 views today in about the three and a half weeks or so roughly since this channel has been up and running. So I'm really grateful and really pleased for that guys. So thank you. You all rock. I really appreciate it. Um, stay tuned. I will be back uh, ASAP with another hot sauce review. Bye.